Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I am taking a look at Google's virtual reality headset, Cardboard. Well, maybe I shouldn't be calling it that. Basically, this is just a do-it-yourself cardboard headset equipped with cheap lenses where you slide your smartphone in, and you're actually ready to roll for just a couple of dollars in materials. All you have to do is download the Cardboard app, and you can get started. And that is pretty brilliant. I mean, actual construction of the Cardboard VR headset will probably deter a lot of people, but it really doesn't look that difficult at all for anyone with a knack of putting stuff together. Google has all the instructions online, and the materials that you do need are pretty basic. Almost certainly kits and fully assembled versions of this will be available for sale within days, hours, I mean it's definitely going to be not long after Google unveils this for real. Now I do suppose that we'll probably see a lot more expensive, less disposable iterations pop up, because I mean, that is sort of the point, what Google's doing with cardboard is just opening the possibilities of VR to basically anyone. They, they even have an experimental toolkit available so developers can start playing around with Android-based virtual reality right now. I mean, it is all pretty ingenious. I mean, Facebook bought Oculus for $2 billion, but you can get your hands on Google Hardware for less than $50. I mean, it's a really, really good deal. Now, as far as the actual use of this, you basically just hold the box up to your face, and then you're looking at a horizontal row of applications. To scroll back and forth, you turn your head, and then basically you can click on things using a little washer that's to your side. You slide it down in this little cardboard slot, and it pops back up. It basically feels like an old school viewfinder. Now, it, this does actually look pretty intuitive for how to use it, and you know, it may not be the innovation that brings big, expansive, immersive worlds to virtual reality gaming, but it is definitely the innovation that's going to bring virtual reality gaming to consumers much more quickly than other solutions. While the major challenge facing Morpheus and Oculus is getting the device into consumers' hands at a reasonable price, Cardboard will really face no such obstacle. I mean, sure, Google's virtual reality headset is nowhere near as good as the alternatives, but that's, as I keep on saying, not the point. The point is, it's an affordable device that gives consumers an ability to get into virtual reality for a very, very low cost. And and it gives developers a chance to see you know, how, you know, what it's all like, and it gives them a chance to experiment with app development for virtual reality headsets. I mean, to be honest, Facebook and Sony should see the cardboard as a welcome addition to the virtual reality field, because this really does have the potential to introduce and entice consumers. Think of it as like a gateway VR headset. If consumers enjoy the experience, maybe they'll move on to the hard stuff later, buying into Oculus or Morpheus when those hit the market. Let me know what you think of Google Cardboard in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye!